It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Tennessee Titans. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Start out here with a jet sweep. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Damian Wilson on the tackle. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wide outs either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off here by no, Anthony Hitchens. Yeah. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Intercepted. The Chiefs take over first and 10. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. Seven yards to pick up there. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the Titans' 25-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. A first carry now. This is Williams. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well, for the Titans and Chiefs, you know, we think back to their encounter in the postseason last year, the AFC Championship game to be exact. And the Titans were riding high, coming off road wins in Foxborough and in Baltimore. And they led at one point, 17 to 7. But as the Chiefs did three times in those playoffs, they rallied back from a double-digit deficit, ultimately winning 35-24 and punching their ticket to Miami. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. They got a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Because his primary job is defending against the pass, you don't often see a cornerback making tackles in the backfield. But he's playing run all the way here. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Butker's kick here is good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. The In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all.
After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Khalif Raymond now. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs. They have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Yeah, this is going to be a Titans first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside, and so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. On first down, Henry going to be swallowed up in the backfield as he'll wind up losing about three. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground. And that they did that time for a loss. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. The Titan ball carrier. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Six yards left on second down. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. It's complete. This is Derrick Henry. And he'll get it down to the plate of the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up the first down. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. yard He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Throwing on second and eight, Tannehill. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 12-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. Thank it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Tannehill. And it's caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. That's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards it. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. 
They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Titans have taken the lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that, and wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off, following the touchdown. Takes this about five yards deep. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them... That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. That going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He'll drop this down to Williams. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. That certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find answers, and they've got to find them quick. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And a nice job there, skipping away from the one tackle and ends up getting five yards out of that. Second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Mahomes firing complete, and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Chiefs three. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance at any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. This is caught. Watkins. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Mahomes to the former Ram, Sammy Watkins for the Kansas City first. First and goal at the three-yard line. They'll run it with Williams. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. It's a nice second effort we just saw there. So I'm trying to get to the end zone, but a lot of times near the goal line, that second effort can lead to disaster. Make sure you hold on to the football because there's going to be guys swarming when you're carrying it. On second and goal, Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill, and the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Makes the score Chiefs 10, Titans 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now whistles, and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it down. And Henry's hit. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead on the crossing route. Complete. That's Brown. Complete. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. Of 19 yards. First down, Tennessee. Back 
back to throw. Tannehill over the middle to Smith. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. And the Chiefs D closes in on him again, and they drop him behind the line. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. The field goal, a 51-yard attempt. And no, it doesn't get there. Gets the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it online, but it comes up about a rotation short. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was the crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. Yeah, because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now an option play on second down. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans 44. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 18. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Off the draw, here's Williams. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. On second down, Williams. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Now here's Mahomes. 
And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Demarcus Robinson there to make the grab. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Extra point right down the middle, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Titans now just about ready to take over. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. The intended receiver there was Janu Smith. And it's second down. Here's Tannehill. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time. And now it's third down. He had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Titans on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first down, Tannehill. He finds Corey Davis, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Tannehill. 
And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. From the gun, here's Tannehill. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And this will not have the distance to get there. Short, no good, just under the crossbar. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's a second missed field goal here in this first half. He'll have to think about that going forward. Maybe time for a little soul searching as well. Yeah, the head coach might be looking towards the heavens because you wonder if this will affect the fourth down decision making going forward. If you get fourth and three, fourth and four, situations that used to be calls for the kicker might get a second thought. Gets this one to Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Mahomes now on first down. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the encore. You know, you know. First down, Mahomes. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. And again, it's Mahomes that is caught at the seven-yard line. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes with a touchdown pass to Sammy Watkins. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, 
right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Tannehill. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. First and ten, Tannehill. That is caught inside the five. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. And the first half, just like the end of the game, can't end with a defensive penalty. They'll have another play. One more play, untimed. We'll see what happens here. Makes the score. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This taken in about four yards deep. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up the throw. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. On play action, it's Mahomes. And going deep for... And that's caught inside the 35. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. He'll drop this down to Williams. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Mahomes firing complete. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Kansas City, Demarcus Robinson. Demarcus Robinson, 
Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Raymond now on the return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Number 22. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Henry. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Right, two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And he's taken down, a chief sack. It was Frank Clark that time who got in there to bring him down. I think we've seen this before. If someone's down three scores, that situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give them a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent is really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. And yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. 40-yard line. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Mahomes now on first down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. 
And they run the option here on first and 10. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So, first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. There goes a deep ball. End zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. But it's going to be second down. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead. But these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. I'm sure as a coach, when you throw the flag, you hold your breath, then you get the verification you were right, a sigh of relief. Not only a sigh of relief, a little vindication as well, because every time you pull that red flag and throw it, you could be costing your team a timeout. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Chiefs 38, Titans 10. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Raymond now on the return. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Out come the Titans now. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now this one complete to Corey Davis. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam, puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion, really good pickup. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. After the penalty, it's Henry. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. It's a five-yard pickup, so essentially they get the penalty yardage back, and it's back to second and 10. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. You'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. Looking to throw on second down. Tannehill, this time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. And he returns it in enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. And they'll run the option to start the drive. The 45-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. At the 44-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this one incomplete. 
Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all, and you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Andy Reid, some say always unpredictable, and here he says, we're going for it on fourth down. They run, it's Williams. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Where they were on the field, kind of no man's land. Do you like the call? I love the call. Almost had to go for it there, right, because of what you just described. Too far for the field there. Too short for the punt. You might punt in the end zone and just give them good field position anyway. Let's go for it. Plus, they were moving the ball. They had confidence that they could pick up this last bit of real estate. So that'll back him up five. KC's offense ready to take over. It's a quick turnaround for him after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Mahomes completes that one to Watkins. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. A 12-yard pickup brings up second and three at the Titans' 20. Working with a second and three. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 20. At their own 20 yard line. He'll start with a give to Henry. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Henry, the ball carrier. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. 25 yard line. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Ready? 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Now it's Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. It's a gain of four. And it's third down. Tannehill going to throw on third and one. He finds Humphreys. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. First down, Tennessee. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The ball carrier. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. And the Titans' first down. That's the end of the And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Out of the gun, Tannehill. His throw incomplete. 
Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Tannehill with a throw caught by Brown. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 35. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense... They don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. The throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. From the red zone now, Tannehill. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And the Titans are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed-out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route-running savvy. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Adam Humphreys there to make the grab. And the Titans are able to close the gap just a bit. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Here's Hardman on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. Certainly no reason to panic. They've got the three-score lead, but the turnover last time, the interception that led to a touchdown, you'd have to think they might not be dialing that up again. Yeah, probably not. They're still in fantastic shape, though, so I would imagine before he tried it out here for this series, head coach probably just leaned over to him and was like, listen, we're wearing these color shirts. <laughs> Throw it to those guys, not the others. Try to make a joke out of it and just let them go out there with a little bit more confidence. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. 
And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans 44. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runner, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. On the ground, this is Williams. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. They'll run it with Williams. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. A gain of three. It's fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Titans set and ready to go on offense. Their defense was able to force the punt a moment ago, but that's really the first of about eight steps that need to go right for them to get back in this as they start here first and ten. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And he will find Davis. That's complete. Tannehill's five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it. They need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Let's go, D. To throw again on second down. Tannehill. Pass caught left side by Humphreys. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Tannehill able to find Henry out of the backfield. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Brandon, a lot of times you'll see running backs rotate in and out of the game, whether it's completed pass, a good run, it doesn't matter. Here, not only does he stay in, but they go right back to him, and he makes another nice play. Back-to-back -back catches. Tannehill on first down. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. Ten more there and another first down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Throwing on second and eight. Tannehill. This complete to Henry over the middle. 
And the Titans are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Another try after the first down sack. Tannehill, and it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Ryan Tannehill with a touchdown pass to A.J. Brown. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack in the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. Joseph on for the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Makes the score. Chiefs 38. Titans 24. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Six at the 21-yard line. Mahomes going to throw. And he finds who else? Watkins. That catch good for five. It's third down. Watkins. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and one. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, 
We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here, third and goal. They'll try to run it in. It's Williams. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Well, they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Point after, right down the middle. And a lead now to three touchdowns at 21. This carries into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. It's almost like, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Tannehill's pass. Seven yards to pick up there. J. Brown. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 43-yard line. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing again on second down. Tannehill. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Tannehill's pass complete to Derrick Henry. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and inches. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. To the air again, Tannehill. And it's complete, Henry. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. A gain of three, three yards the there, good enough to keep First the drive down, moving. Tennessee. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. On first down, it's Tannehill. Quick hitter here, it's complete. 
Ten and the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards. A good pickup pick there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At the Chiefs' 43-yard line. One last throw here for Tannehill. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Today's final score. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.